Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we'll see how to put the data validation. So what exactly is the data validation? Let me show you a few of the Excel sheets. So this is one of the Excel sheet which we use for the beam designing. Okay. So you can see here if I click here and you can see this drop down button, right? So it is just telling me you need to pick values out of this like 15. If you want, you can pick it. If you want to pick 20, you can pick 20. If you want to pick, you know, 25, you can do that. So it's giving me in the same way if I come towards the steel. So it is only giving me three values, 250, 415 and 500. Other than that, if I put something like if I put 650 here, so it's giving me error here, right? Yeah, that error is not shown. But anyhow, let me do that. I'll just try to change it. Yeah, this value doesn't match the data validation restriction defined for this cell, right? So how do you put all this uh, drop down button? That is what we are going to see here. Okay. So same way, whenever you try to work on uh, any Excel sheet, you need to put all these things. Similarly, this is one of the flexural design what I've done. So if I go to the FCK part, again, I put a drop down here. So it is, I can choose only values which is given from here. So we'll try to see how this validation can be done. So I'll go to conditional formatting. So let me take one case. So whatever student's name I have put and whatever marks I put it here. No, I'll put a drop down to that. So to put a drop down, what you can do is you can put here. I'll write a drop down. Okay. Or I'll say data validation just for understanding data validation. So rather than writing that name again, writing all these things again, like copying from here or doing it here. So what you can do is you select this everything. So I'll take it to the center now. Okay, and I'll give a border here. Fine. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just select all these things. Okay, and then there is option here called as data validation. I'll do it. See, I selected everything. You can see option here data. Click on that. Then there is option here called as data validation. Click on that. So when you click on that, you get a lot of options allow. So which which thing you need to allow. So any value, whole number, decimal, list, date, time, text length and custom. So I'll say I want a kind of a list because I'm going to list you only those things should be shown here. So I'll go to the list option. So it is asking me, tell me the source. Since you're telling you're giving a list, you should tell what is your source item. So I'll say you pick a value only from this much. You pick a value only from this much. So what I've done in the source option, I just drag my mouse from here to here and I'll say, okay, now, and now you see everywhere the validation has come. You can see this drop down button. Now I'll click here. So whatever value I've chosen, right, from 16 to this 25, everything will be shown here. For example, let us say I want to put a max of 22. I'll select 22 here. Let us say here I need to put 20, 15. I'll put 15. Let us say I need to put 21. I'll say put, I'll put 21. I want to put 15. You can do that. Now, after some time, if you feel, okay, this value is not required. Again, you come here, you can change the value. So this is how the data validation has to be put. So on a simple uh, Excel sheet, I've explained you. Okay, so let me get into the practical uh, aspects of this. So let me get into the practical aspects of this. So first one practical aspect, let me apply on this. Okay, so this is our uh, Excel sheet for the beam design. So here I've written FCK, that is my characteristic compressive strength. I've written 25. Okay, so I'll put one more drop down here. So I'll, uh, I'll just copy the same thing, FCK. I'll just write it here. Okay, fine. And now what I'll do is I'll, I, I'll create one more cell and there I'll try to put the drop down. So I'll select this. I'll go to the home option and then I'll give a border to that. Okay, fine. So I want to put a drop down here. So how shall I do that? It's very simple. So I'll select on this. Exactly. I'll go to the data. I'll go to data validation and here I'll say list. I'll say list. Okay. Yeah. So here there is two options. Let me explain this. This time I won't go to the list. Why? Because I don't have any list. In this case, what I can do is I'll go to this option. I'll go to the option called as custom. Not the custom, wait. L list. Okay, I'll, I'll go to the list. And now I'll write on my own. I'll write 25. I'll, I'll go with 20. I'll go with 25. Let me give a comma. This is another way of doing. Okay, when you have limited numbers, I'll go with 30. I'll go with uh, 35. I'll go with 40. I'll go with 45 and I'll go with 50 
and I'll say okay to this. So can you see? Okay, this drop down has come. Sorry. So I'll keep my mouse here once again because that drop down came somewhere here. You can see that drop down has come here. Let me keep my cell here itself. I'll go to data validation once again. I'll go to any value. I'll go to list. So in the list, you have two options. Either you can drag it if you have a set of table. If not, if the values are very limited, like in my case, I have only 20, 25. Okay. And then I have uh, 30. I have 35. I have 40. I have 45. And I have 50. Okay. And I'll say okay to this. Simple. Now you see the drop down has been created. Now I can select any value from here. You're getting my point, no? So this is how you're supposed to do. So I explained you two things. Now, let us say I'll give you one more case. So instead of this, I can even list some values here. I can list some values here. I'll list some, uh, I'll list some values here. Okay, let us say 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, we'll go, we'll go with 50, we'll go with 55. We'll go with 60. So uh, let us say I have these values. See, whenever you apply certain uh, data, data validation, if you want to remove it, what, how, how you need to do? Again, you click on this, go to data validation and here in the list, you say any value. So moment you say any value and you say, okay, the drop down will go. You can see that drop down. Any value means I can put any value now. I can put like if I want 100, I can put 100. Simple. If you want to remove. Now, what I'll do is I'll make use of these values and I'll try to input it here. Like we did it in the previous option. I'll click on this. I'll go to data validation. Again, I'll say I'm going to list it. So rather than writing here, you just select here. You just select all these things. Okay. Up to here. So you can see it has selected N19. So this is N, sorry, N9. So N it is, this is 9. From here to here, it has selected all the values and it will say, okay. So you can see how much up to 60 we had, right? You can see now up to 60, it has come. Getting my point? So you have two ways when you have a huge set of numbers. So in that case, you can uh, list like this. Else you if you have three to four numbers, for example, this is FY. FY is my uh, yield strength of my steel. So here we don't have much. We have 415, 500 and we have 550. So in that case, what I have done is I have come here. I selected this. I have given only two options. 415, 500 and even 550 I have given. Suppose if I want to make yeah, let me tell you one more case. Now only three are there, right? Let us say I want to add 600 and 650. What shall I do? Nothing. Just click on this. Go to the data validation and go to the list option. So in the list, by default, you can see I have given only three. So let me give another two. I'll give 600 also. But usually we don't use. I'll give 650 also. And I'll say OK. So now you see it has gone to 550, 600 and 650. This is the yield strength of my steel. You're getting my point? Fine. So I think uh, most of the things I've explained you. Now, let me give you one more example. Now, let us say up to 60 you did. And what happened here? By default, 60 has come. Tomorrow, let us say somebody told no. Uh, now we are planning even for 65. We are planning for 70. We are planning for 75. We are planning for 80. Let us consider. I'm giving you a case study. Now, if I go here and if I click, no, nothing. Only 60 is shown. But in my table, I have 65, 70, 75 and 80. So how shall I do that? So one option is you select here, go to data validation. Okay. Yeah. Select this one, go to data validation. And here you have that list is shown. The list is shown. You can see if I click here, if I keep, keep my mouse here, it is telling me, it is telling that the source option, what you had selected is from here to here. Okay. Fine. Now what you can do, if you apply your brain, you can just, okay. Wait. Yeah. I think, uh, wait, let me close that. I'll just select here. I'll go to data validation. I'll go to data validation. Yeah. So what I can do is I can drag it like here. From here, I can drag it like this. I'll say Excel, you take up to here. So it has selected from here to here. And I'll say OK now. So now what will happen in the drop down, you can see everything will come up to how much we had done 80. So 80 you can see now. Got it. But again, now let us after some time, somebody told, no, we are planning even for 85. We are planning even for 90. You are planning even for 90. Practically not possible if you are from civil engineering background. So M50, it's very difficult to achieve all this grade. Okay. But let me write it here. Now, again, what will happen? Exactly. That will not be shown. And again, you select here, you go to data validation, and then you do all these things. Rather than doing all this uh, 
stuff we have a simple trick for this because what happens when somebody gives gives you a excel sheet they may hide this they'll go they right click here and they say hide so the moment they hide you can just come and go only up to 80 tomorrow if you want 90 you don't even know where that guy has uh, uh, you know inserted that number right you're getting my point so when you get an excel sheet or somebody gives you excel sheet so only up to 80 you have you don't have 95 so you don't even know where that guy has written right because they will lock and you i'll teach you in the later part how you can lock something and all so i'll right click here i'll say unhide so okay it is somewhere here no i'll say unhide okay you see how do you unhide it's very simple just see the sequence of number a b c d e f a e f g g is not visible no problem i j k l m so you can say n is not visible here o is directly visible that means here something is missing so i'll right click here let me go to unhide okay it's not coming okay it is somewhere here i'll keep my mouse here let me select unhide it's not coming so that means it is somewhere here okay you see it is coming m after m it should have been n no but n was not visible so i know in between m and o that uh, hide option is there you just try to click here and drag it like this and now you drag it like this simple fine so in this case what you're supposed to do in this case what you're supposed to do so i'll write i'll give i'll give a name here like table okay table of grades okay so in this case what you're supposed to do is you need to convert this particular thing into table so what i'm basically trying to tell rather than coming here go to going to data validation and changing every time so it's better you make it as a kind of a dynamic so dynamic means the moment you add any value it will automatic automatically come here how shall i do that first you convert this particular column into a table so how you are going to do that you select everything like this you select like this you have two options in the shortcut command you can make use of Control t i'll click on Control and i'll click on t okay and i'll say enter so you can see this has been converted into table i'll write the shortcut here the shortcut to convert anything into a table is Control t c t r l Control and you click on t so it will be a shortcut i'll go with Control z now let me take it back so if you don't want to do like that again you select here like this so there you go to the insert option so in the insert yeah select you can see option here called as table click on that and then you say it will select the table okay that means what is this where is the data of your table it's asking where is the data and by default it has taken from this part to this part okay and i'll say okay my table has header it has header here and i'll say okay so what it has done it has converted this into table that is one way of doing otherwise even you can make use of a shortcut command of control t now what i'll do you know you remember only up to how much it is 100 i have done so i'll click on that let me check if any yeah you can see here by default okay it's not coming i'll do that no problem so what i'll do is 100 i've written I'll go with the uh, 105 okay i'll go with the uh, 110 okay so now again let me check whether it's coming here so it's not coming no so first once i'll apply data validation validation that is sufficient so i'll click on this i'll go to data i'll go to data validation and now i'll say i'll list that i'll i'll select from here to here once okay i'll select from here to here and i'll say okay so what has happened from 80 it has come to 110 also okay now i'll write something i'll write 115 i'll write 120 i'll write 125 and this should come here so you can see the magic now 125 is shown 120 is shown 115 is shown now again i'll write okay see again if you're a civil engineering background student we do will not be having a grade of 125 and all just for our understanding i'm doing something okay uh, okay so 125 i'll write 130 okay i'll also write 150 i mean sorry i'll write uh, 150 also i'll write 175 let us say 200 also so what i'm doing i'm just increasing my values here but no problem you come you can come and check in the dynamic drop down see 200 add input so 200 is coming so always whenever you want to create a table this is called as dynamic uh, drop down so you need to convert your values into table if you don't convert this into table then this drop down won't be activated okay so this is how the uh, data validation command has to be applied 
and this is how you need to uh, uh, create any table into a dynamic drop down button okay similarly uh, i'll show you one more excel sheet so this is an excel sheet for the beam design which i had used in my other courses so again you can see the concrete here see they have given 15 20 25 30 now you know the magic like now let us say i'm telling i want to make this excel sheet rather than keeping up to 30 i want even 40 to come so what you do you click on this you go to the option called as data go to the option called as data validation okay go to the option called as data validation and here you see he has given 15 20 25 and 30 now let me add 35 also let me add 40 also so and i'll say okay to this simple now you can see everything has come got it so wherever you find such excel sheet whatever logic I've explained with the same logic they have done. Even in the steel also, they have done the same thing. 415, 250, 415 and 500. If you want another few things, you can add it. Now I'll give you one more case. I'll give you one more case. I don't want this drop down button. Huh. Okay, I'll do one thing. Uh, I'll teach this in the later part. Now in this lecture, it's enough. Enough. Try to practice up to here. In the next lecture, I'll teach you how to take, take down this drop down button, how to check this error option. And also we'll try to see some other commands in the data validation like least i've explained you and then uh, we'll even we'll try to see when the whole number if possible okay and then also we'll see this error alert so the, the, there comes one error right let me do that error see i had told you 25 i'll put 50. so what is coming this value doesn't match the data validation restriction so you can give your own message here so those things we'll try to see in the next lecture try to practice up to here we'll see you back in the next lecture Thank you.